Hello, I'm Stuart Woods from Hexagon. I'm responsible for the mobile mapping business unit. And here within Hexagon, I'm continually asked by our customers to do three things. One is which is to enable them to do more with less. The other one is to actually reduce time to revenue for their deliverables. And the final point is to actually look at ways that I can increase their services that they can offer to their clients. Now, from our standpoint within Hexagon, this means a focus on digita digitization. And with this, in order to enable and to actually enable growth, this means a change in workflow, which is a focus on digitalization. Now, this all starts with best-in-class hardware, which we have shown here. This means delivering hardware which has the highest survey accuracy possible. Now, with hardware, the focus now on how do we actually enable digitalization becomes one of a focus on software, which I'd like to show you now. As I mentioned, the focus is on digitalization. And with digitalization comes a focus on the workflow and our software. And from that standpoint, I'd like to start off by explaining how we're working to improve the workflows and focus on digitalization. In this here, you can see the key for mobile mapping is to actually know your accuracy before you actually leave the office. So within Hexagon, we're actually enabling our customers to plan their mobile mapping routes before they actually leave the office to get the highest accuracy at a given time of day, including knowing where to position their base stations. Now, once they've done their mission, they can now look at their post-processing software. And our focus on digitalization is about improving their workflow for post-processing. And here you can actually see we've set profiles for post-processing to make it easy for our customers to actually decide how to process their data. And from that standpoint, whether it's a type of product or whether it's a particular type of use case, we've designed now workflows for transportation digitalization so that it works the best way possible. And now if I take it to the next step, which is really how do I actually now know the quality of my capture for a given mission? And now you can see here, we actually have a full quality report to actually show very critically and very clearly the quality of the mission in a map GUI of what they've been able to capture, therefore enabling to understand the quality of the digitized network. And the final point as you start to move into digitalization is one of knowing about batch and automated extraction. And the key here is to really enable our customers to do bulk extractions in an automated way and here you can see we've done an extraction in batch of the point cloud classification and you can see the green is the vegetation and you can see different elements are categorized according to the classification. And then the final point, if I want to take this a step further, is to really now look at highway networks. And in this case of transportation, looking at road networks, we want to do automated extractions of lines but also of other elements within a highway network such as barriers. And you can see all of this was captured. And then once again, with a focus on digitalization, we're actually enabling our clients to do more with less by actually building and automating the extraction features. Now I'd like to move on to rail. As I just showed you, I showed you the digitalization of the highway network. Now if I come over and focus on rail, we're now doing the same concept and we're now automating and doing batch extraction of the rail network. And you can see here we've done just as we did on the highway network, an extraction where we classified the full point cloud. And you can actually see the different classifications, including the vegetation, which has now just been turned on and back on. Now, within the rail network, it's a little more complex because we also now want to look at other aspects, and that includes the infrastructure of the rail, which is also the extraction of the rails themselves and in this particular case, we have batch automated extraction of the rails where we actually extract the, the lines and the rail heads and the center lines of the, of the rail itself. Once again, focused on how do we actually digitalize the network and enable the workflow to have a better view of the infrastructure. And I want to thank you because I hope now you understand how we're moved from hardware to software and the element that we're focused on enabling a change in the workflow and a focus on digitalization is about how do we grow software. Thank you.